be sharing why we found the Life Ministries International. Thank you for viewing this video. It's a very important video, and the title of it is uh, that there is a war against your soul. Uh, you know, in First Peter, it says to uh, flee from uh, lustful things, uh, flee and abstain uh, from uh, the lust of the flesh, uh, because they war against your soul. Now, in First Thessalonians chapter five, it says that there that we are made up of three parts: a spirit, a soul, and a body. Uh, the spirit, if you're with Jesus and you've accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, your spirit is, is just fine. Uh, it's not going to be moved. Uh, the body, uh, the third part, is going to follow suit whatever the spirit and the soul are doing, and that's what the body's doing. The part that, that the enemy tries to come so hard uh, to steal, kill, and destroy is in the soulish realm. That is your mind, your feelings, your emotions, your attitude uh, about different things. You know, if you want to change uh, your behavior, you want to change the things in your life, then you need to change your mindset. The, the mind is the, is the true battlefield. You know, behind me, uh, there is an army truck. And, you know, now think about our, our armed forces and what's happening all over the world. Uh, there is a war. Uh, of evil against good and against good and, and evil and, and so I say to you today you must protect your heart you must protect your mind uh, from the, the attacks of the enemy there is a war against your soul you know it says uh, uh, what, the, what the Lord gave me when I began to uh, to hear his voice on, on this message uh, was that there were three steps uh, in order to keep the enemy from attacking uh, your soulish area. There are three steps uh, that we can take. And the first one is found in James chapter 4, verse 7. It says, Submit uh, your, yourself unto God. Uh, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Submit yourself unto God. You know, when we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we come under the Father. We come under Him. You know, John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever would believe in Him would not perish, but would have everlasting life. In Romans uh, chapter 10, verses 9 and 10, it says, If you will confess um, that, that Jesus is the Son of God, uh, you will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, then, uh, and believe in your heart, then you shall be saved. Submit yourself unto God. That's the first step in uh, protecting your your heart, your soul, and your body. Hallelujah. There is a war against your soul. The second step in, in protecting yourself is... Uh, to stay hidden in Jesus. Colossians 3.3 3 says that, that we are dead and our life is hid in Christ Jesus with God. And, and so we, we are protected when, when we don't let the enemy know where we are. And, and that's we let him know where we are with our mouth. What is your tongue saying? Is your mouth saying what the Word of God says? If it's saying the truth, hallelujah, then uh, you'll be hidden. And the enemy doesn't know where you are as long as you keep uh, your your words according to the Word of God. Uh, you know, King David said, uh, put a watch over my mouth. Uh, put a watch over it so that I don't uh, speak those things that are that are not pleasing unto you. The third step in this war against your soul and protecting yourself is to study to show yourself approved, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. You know, in John chapter 8, it says, You shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Praise the name of Jesus. Even when you get into a dilemma, 
or a situation and the enemy is coming at you hard. You know, all the way through the book of Psalms, King David says, He has delivered my soul out of hell. He has delivered my soul out of the pit. He has delivered my soul from my enemies. And how has he done that? Number one, David, King David, submitted himself unto God. Number two, he, he kept himself hidden in Christ with God. Hallelujah. And the third one, he knew the truth, and the truth always set him free. It will set you free today. I speak freedom to you. I, if you are, if you're feeling a war against your soul today, against your mind, against your emotions, those that are going through hard places right now, I say unto you: submit yourself unto God. Stay hidden in Christ Jesus with God, and know the truth. God bless you today. Thank you for viewing.